my name is Tristan O'Connor and I'm a digital sales specialist here at ClearTouch Interactive. Today we're going to be discussing Nuitech Snowflake application that's available on Windows and Mac. Specifically, we're going to be looking inside Snowflake at the Canvas application. Canvas is not your typical whiteboard. It's more like a whiteboard on steroids. There are a lot of easy to access tools here. For example, I can change line thickness, I can change the color, and I'm gonna be able to use all 20 points of touch on the board here. Not to mention, I'm gonna have things like racer gestures built in. So I'd be able to make up for those quick mistakes without having to change my tool. Now within this, there's a couple other tools I'm sure you're familiar with, things like an eraser and an undo and a redo. But one of my favorite tools is the Infinite Canvas tool. That's where we get far more space from the board than what's originally visible. For example, I can bump content up so I don't run out of space. Or I can take that content and move it right or left. That way I can keep adding content to it. But it's not just pen tools. It's also things like bringing in live websites. For example, in this case, I'm going to look up, we'll say, NASA. So I'm able to pull open this website. Maybe this is something that I want to talk about or there's got a couple of pieces that I'd like to discuss later on. I'm able to also maximize it and minimize it very quickly and even lock it in place. You're not limited to the number of websites you can bring in. So long gone are the days of having to open up multiple tabs in a browser just to jump back and forth. Uh, in this case, let's start looking up a couple of more. So we'll look up planets. And maybe I like the idea of a picture of Saturn. So we're going to open up Saturn and maybe do an image search. As you can see, it moves very quickly. It's easy to open up. And I'd be able to tie that in place with the lock mechanism or even maximize it, minimize it. I can grab it and move it where I want, resizing it, and if it's a little bit skewed, you can always level it out with the level button. We're not just limited to websites, so obviously that's fantastic if I want to bring in different kinds of images or uh, different websites that I'm used to working on, but we can also bring in all kinds of media, and that's what this button's for. Anything on your local hard drive, your shared drives, or even your cloud drives like Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive. And I can even search YouTube. So as you can see up here, I'm just going to kind of stick with the theme and we're going to look up science lessons on space. And just typing that in real quick, maybe I find a video I really like. Hey, this is from NASA. So we're going to look at training the astronauts in space. Now, this is great because I can play this here, even maximize it. Or resize it. Got to go out and maximize first. And I can, of course, level it out and lock it in place if I'd like, and then keep moving. Now, the beauty of pulling in different YouTube videos into the Canvas whiteboard is that actually all of the advertisements have been stripped, and all of the content that you see from more videos is from the same content creator. So you're not getting anything unrelated to what you're discussing. Now, if I do get a lot of this stuff built up and I maybe get lost within this infinite canvas, there's a nice little mini map here and I can jump right back to what I've been working on prior. Not to mention, a little bit higher up here, I can create a whole fresh page. So if I like more of a flipbook experience, that's something that's built right in. There's a couple of other tools that are really important here. For example, uh, I've got the ability to pull in different math tools. So I could potentially pull in an equation editor and have students uh, sign or, I'm sorry, solve this equation or even go through and solve it myself to give them an idea of how it's done. And beyond that, there's things like a graphing calculator. I can pull in multiple graphing calculators if I'd like. If you aren't in love with the graphing calculator, or maybe this isn't quite the calculator you're used to, you could always, for example, open up a website and pull up Desmos. Desmos will function right inside this whiteboard as well, so you'll be able to use that in a way that you are most comfortable.
Now, beyond that, there's a couple of other tools that are worth mentioning. Um, and I'm going to open those up really quick. So for example, we do have the ability to pull in things like a document camera. So I'm going to be able to switch between my cameras, and this will work in a number of different cameras uh, through USBs or wirelessly connected cameras. And as you can see, I've got a document here, so I can take a quick snapshot of it and pull it right into the canvas. There's also the ability to add different text or even change the background. So for example, if I wanted to work on, we'll say, handwriting, I'm going to change the background to instead of a grid, some lines. And I can make those a little smaller so we can work on writing a little smaller, for example. Or I could even upload an image if I did want to uh, have a diagram for students to label or, uh, or color in, for example. It's very easy to jump back and forth between Snowflake and your desktop just by tapping this Q button. And I'm going to go quickly to the desktop. And let's say that I have an image that I'd like to take a snapshot of. Or maybe I open up a website and I'd like just the image I saw. I can quickly top, tap the bottom Q and click Screenshot. And that will immediately grab that image and pull it directly into the canvas as well. So this is a great place to pull that kind of content under one roof. Now, just a, a couple more notes here. You can export the canvas as a PDF, or you can save it as a canvas file and open it back up where all of your pieces are able to be moved around and interacted with, including YouTube videos and websites. And just to give you an idea, I can switch back and forth between those panes, and they'll reload automatically as well. And there's my NASA website from the very beginning. Lastly, within this canvas, it's possible to be able to record the entire screen. And if you do have some kind of microphone or camera hooked up, for example, I have a webcam, uh, I'd not only be able to record the entirety of the screen, but also my voice and the sounds that go with it. Hope you have a great time interacting with Canvas.